Let's go now to CBS 2's Chris Hobbard. Chris, you are a firefighter as well, and there are important lessons to be learned from this high-rise fire. Indeed, Jim and Erica, no two fires are alike. Firefighters around the globe will tell you that every fire is going to be different no matter how many times you train, no matter how many drills you run. It is going to be a dynamic situation, and today was no different. Let's take a look at the video that we uh, got in very early on. You've seen this uh, before. We've got a uh, single unit that's fully involved in fire. This unit is flashed over here. Everything, all the contents inside their floor to ceiling, wall to walls are burning. Now, it seems counterintuitive to be ordered to be staying in place, and uh, the reason for that is the fact that if you exit your particular apartment, you may run right into the fire attack stairwell. You see, us on the outside know where the fire's at. We know what it's doing, at least visually from the outside. So do the fire companies that are arriving on the fire ground. So the fire companies, the media, even bystanders can see where the fire is at. If you're in a 25-story, 299-unit building and you flee into the hallway, you may accidentally run right into the fire attack stairwell, where firefighters are leading out hose lines to try and battle that fire, and once they open the door in that stairwell onto the fire floor, that's going to allow heat, gas, smoke, and fire into that stairwell. You will not survive. They will, because of the fact that they're trained in the tactics and they're wearing protective gear. So that being the case, if you get, you saw that uh, one video where you saw the flames on the outside, call 911, let the dispatcher know your unit number. Everybody knows the floor plan of that building, fire attack will get to you if, in fact, it is a critical situation for you to get out of there. They will get you out of there. It's amazing how even a simple door could be the difference between life and death. Chris Habermill, CBS2 News. Excellent perspective there, Chris. Thank you.